My name is Henry Corbett. I'm a vicar in Everton and also chaplain to Everton Football Club's training ground, which was at Belfield and is now at Finch Farm. When I started out as chaplain, I was given great advice by an ex-player, an ex-manager, who said, don't talk football to the players. Definitely don't talk about the back pass that went wrong or the shot that went over the bar. That's the coach's job. You see them as a person, not just as a footballer. But in this context, I think I can talk about football. It's a game I love, the beautiful game, though it has its ugly moments. But what about the artistry in the left foot of Kevin Sheedy, or Andy Hinchcliffe, or Leighton Baines, or Lucas Dean, or the poetry in motion of Osman passing to Arteta, to Hibbert, to the head of Tim Cahill, and into the back of the net? And the drama in football, unscripted. If you know your Shakespeare, you know how Hamlet will end. Plot spoiler, not well. But in a match at Goodison Park, and hopefully in the future, at Bramley Moor Dock, who knows what will happen. Recently, the footballer Ian Wright chose three matches to show on match of their day. Two games he was in, and the third was a team he liked, whose supporters he liked, and that was Everton. And the game was Everton playing Wimbledon on May the 7th, 1994, with the threat of relegation hanging over the club. I was there with my eight-year-old son, Tom, and at half-time he had a headache and wanted to go home. By the end of the game, it was a bit different. Here's a clip. Nine minutes to go. Limpa goes inside this time. Stewart, Cotty came quickly to him. Stewart! Yes! Yes! For Everton! They can see salvation! Stewart. It's over. Everton have done all that they could do for themselves and it looks as though it's enough. I love that. They can see salvation. And by the end of the game, my son Tom's headache had gone. Football can affect health. I think the headline in the Liverpool Echo was Blue Heaven. And football and faith have many links. There's a great book, Faith of Our Families, Everton FC and Oral History, 1878 to 2018, written by James Corbett, had no relation, and 1878 is a reminder of how the club started with the Reverend Ben Swift Chambers of St Domingo's Church starting a football team which then became Everton Football Club. And there's also links with the importance of teamwork, of different gifts, of hope, perseverance, of identity and of togetherness, and that's so important in tough times. And Everton Football Club have a great record of togetherness, looking out for each other, especially with the brilliant work of Everton in the community. And in finishing, back to Everton against Wimbledon, May the 7th, 1994. Everton were two goals down, facing relegation and disaster, and they came back to win 3-2, one of the greatest, most important comebacks in the club's history. But the greatest comeback in all history, I would say, is the Easter comeback. Crucified, dead and buried on the Friday, two days dead, and then on the third day, the first Easter Sunday, Jesus comes back, raised from the dead. The greatest comeback, the greatest victory of all. Take care.